Let's learn how to quickly wind our yo-yo up with this Fizz Beginner yo-yo. The first thing that you want to do is you want to grab the yo-yo in a way that maximizes contact. So if your yo-yo is more narrow, you want to use your thumb on top. If it's a little bit wider, you want to split your fingers and put them on either side of the yo-yo. The next thing that you want to do is you want to generate some slack in the string. So what you don't want to do is hold the yo-yo close to you like this because then when you release it, it moves away from you and it gets rid of all the slack. What you do want to do is you want to hold the yo-yo far away from you like this, not quite as far as you can, but almost, and then you want to take your yo-yo hand and position it directly over to your head. You don't want it off to the side because then the yo-yo is not going to wind up straight and that's not going to work. So once you have your hands in position, you're going to push down through the yo-yo with your thumb. You're going to release the pressure with your middle finger that's holding the yo-yo in place. At the same time, you're going to pull up with your yo-yo hand so that the yo-yo bounces up in the air. And once it's hovering in the air, you're going to take your yo-yo hand and put it directly underneath the yo-yo, which allows the yo-yo to wind up.